at an early age to be used. No matter how young you are, how old you are, how rich or poor you are, God can use you and he wants to use you. And, and it starts right here. So Raven has something very exciting to share right now. Um, today's, today's the day the microphone works. Um, I like to turn on. All right. Oh, yes. There we are. It's beautiful when you can hear yourself. Um, I have the privilege, and this is like, you know, when people ask me, what's the greatest thing you do as a youth leader? And I said, man, by far and away, the greatest thing I could ever do as a youth leader is just to guide someone, a, y a young person, in, into truly following God, like truly, truly committing themselves. And, and it's just, it's a privilege. And the most beautiful part about that whole experience is, to me, whenever I see a baptism happen in a young person. Um, to me, baptism is just most special thing and I you know uh, I talk every time I, I try to get with whoever we're baptizing and I ask them you know why do you want to be baptized you know what brought you to this point and uh, I get a, an array of just answers and, and it's beautiful because you know they just kind of in, in a very different you know way they, they all say you know because I'm ready to be all in you know and, and that's that is just that's, man, you can't hear better words than that. You know, I'm ready to be all in. And uh, today we have two young ladies. Woo! Cousins, and, uh, <laughs> and they don't know which one's going to go first. <laughs> but I think Brenda is going to go first. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about Brenda here. I told her, le voy a sacar, le voy a sacar la garra. <laughs> Brenda, uh, she's she's like a cabbage, okay. <laughs> and, and when I say I not like cabbage head, you know, cabbage. <laughs> you know, there's so many layers to Brenda. And, and every time you know we get together with you, we discover another layer to her. Um, she's a privilege to be around as a youth leader, and and you know, and, and we started talking about you know her faith, and, and she's actually had a, a, a good upbringing. She knows where to find scripture. To, God to be her, her protector, and, and I told her, and, and I told Yeka too, and I said, man, they're like, you know, we, we came to the youth at about this time, and I said, I feel like y'all been here forever, you know, that's really the way they are, and and uh, I am just so privileged, Mihanda, that, that you have made this incredible decision that I, I consider the most important decision you ever made in your entire life, and uh, so it is my privilege, Brenda De La Rosa. <laughs> to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Woo! <laughs> you heard the sound. The sound. two hours, you're going to be fine. Um, no, and, and I, I think it's been a blessing to have Yeka uh, come. Uh, she, she, she actually visited us, and she, you know, she went on a couple of retreats with us, and uh, the cool thing about Yeka is this, we were, we had a, a, a night, it was called the Open Mic Night, we talked about our testimonies, and, and I remember Yeka getting up and speaking, and I was like, wow, you know, you had this wow moment, like, God is going to use this young lady because she can, she's actually just communicating like God as she's talking. And I was like, that's a very, I mean, I know it's hard to speak in front of people and, and I'm not very good at it, but I was like, she just did an amazing job. And I was like, wow, I, I just wonder where God is going to take her. So God so far has taken her here to get baptized. And we're just awake at the, 
the next the next step of what's going to happen in her life. <laughs> and so I'm very very proud of you, Mia. And uh, I'm just I'm proud of both you. And, and it is my privilege, Davy Garcia, to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.